Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to go over this Yeswater YWM200. If you have not already, please like the channel and subscribe. So let's get started. This is the Yeswater YWM200. This unit is a multi-process machine. It does MIG, spool MIG, stick, lift TIG. The spool gun and the TIG torch are optional and does not come with this unit. This welder is dual voltage. It can run on 220 or 110. So let's go over what does come with this unit. The MIG torch is a very nice MIG torch. It has the European connector. It has a protective spring on the back of the torch. This helps prevent kinking of the line at the end of the torch. It does come with the graphite liner, so you can run aluminum through the MIG torch. This water also comes with extra consumables. They also give you a wrench to put your tips on your MIG torch. You do get a stinger with a 10 foot lead. It has the large dense connector. This water is suitable for running 70, 18, and 60, 11 rods. You do get the 220 to 110 adapter. And you do get a gas line for hooking up your welding gas. Here you have your ground. It's a nice ground, it has the large dense connector as well with a 10 foot lead. You do get your user manual. You also get spare rollers. You do get a welding chart. The nice thing about the welding chart, it's also a sticker, and you can place this in the door so you can use this as a reference when you're welding. If you're interested in this unit, you can go to yeswater.com, and they do have a PDF version of the manual if you want to take a look. Okay, let's go over the display. Starting on the left, you have mode. In mode, you're on the upper left, you have manual MIG, then you have synergic MIG, you have stick, you have lifting. This machine will do aluminum. You can either run the graphite liner through the MIG torch to run uh, to weld aluminum, or this is spool gun compatible. The spool gun and the lift TIG are not included. They are sold separately and they are available on the Yes Welder website. Okay, over here we have material. You have aluminum. You have, I'm sorry, you have aluminum with 100% argon. You have ferrous metal with the CO2 of 100%. You have 75-25, or if you're doing stainless steel, it'll be 98-2%. You have flux core. On the upper right, you have inching. When feeding the gun through the MIG torch, you will press this. It'll start out slow and speed up. This will feed your wire through the MIG gun. Right here, you have your button for amperage, which is controlled by your speed, or you have control over your volts. Underneath here is your wire. It depends on your thickness of wire. Since I am on aluminum, it gives me a choice of 045 or 035. And the other settings is the 030 and the 023 wire. The dial in the middle controls, by turning it, it will control your settings. By pressing it, you have your inductance. Your inductance goes from zero to 10. You have your 2T or 4T, you have your hot start, you have your speed where it controls the speed at the very beginning of the weld, and then you will have your burn back. These settings are from 0 to 10. While you are in the mode for stick welding, you have your dig, which is 0 through 10, hot start, 0 through 10. You, your D on or off, and your anti-stick on or off. Let me go back to 
manual MIG. Actually, we'll go to Synergic. Our current, which goes down to 50 amps, all the way up to 200 amps. On our stick, 180 down to 20. And your lift TIG is as low as 10, up to 200. All right, now that we went over the display, let's test the unit out. I'm gonna walk you through adding the graphene liner through the MIG torch. First thing you're gonna do is remove the cap. Once you remove the cap, you want to use either the wrench provided or on welding pliers it has a notch to remove tips for the MIG torch. Once you remove the tip, set it aside, then go to the other end of the torch. You want to remove the cap. Then the next step is to straighten out your whip. Then once you have it all straightened out, it's just a matter of pulling out the steel liner out of the unit. The straighter you can make your line, will make it that much easier to remove and also to place your new liner. With the line as straight as you can make it, grab the end and pull out the steel liner. With your steel liner out, set it aside and grab your graphene liner. Starting with the metal side of the graphene liner, you start pushing it in the end until you get it out to the tip. Once the liner is almost fully in, you want to replace the tip at the end of the uh, MIG torch. Then you want to continue pushing the liner until you cannot push any further. This will line it up as close as you can need to go. You will have extra Teflon liner on the outside. So you slide your end in, and then what you're going to do is cut at the very end. Then you replace your cap, and now you have your new liner in place. Now it's time to add wire. With the adapter you see here, this welder can take the larger 10 pound reel. First thing you wanna do is remove the nut. Then you have a washer, spring, then washer. Then you can remove the adapter. Today, I am setting up to run aluminum through the MIG torch with the graphene liner. I'm going to use the smaller one pound reel, so I will not need this adapter. When using the MIG torch, you want to use a stronger ER5356 wire. The ER4043 is a little softer and it's more suited for a spool gun. I'm going to use the O35 wire, so I'm going to use the 0.9 U roller. Just to make a note, inside in the upper middle, you'll see a switch. This switch is if you're running the optional spool gun. With this welder, you do get extra rollers. You get rollers for the running the solid wire, the 035, the 030. You also have the 023 wire. You do have the rollers for the, with the Nord ends for your flux wire. And you also have the U rollers, which we're gonna to use today. And that'll be for the 045 or the 035. With the correct roller selected, I placed the roller in and put the cap in the lock in place. Now it's time to place the wire in. I'm going to place it so the wire is being fed from underneath. Since we're using the one pound reel, you will not need the adapter. Next thing to do is to get a washer, spring, washer, and then place the nut. You want to tighten down the nut just enough that it 
holds the reel somewhat snug. You're able to still move it, but it won't move freely on its own. Next, you want to grab your end of your wire, feed it through the drive assembly until you see a couple inches sticking out the other side. If you notice, I do not have the NIG torch plugged in yet. This helps with setting up the wire. While doing this, be careful not to let go of the wire. The wire will spring back and make one big mess. With the wire sticking out, you now want to lock down your dry roller. Now we're ready to hook up the MIG torch. Like I said earlier, this torch has the European connector. With the wire sticking out, you want to line it up with the end of the connector. Line it up and tighten it down. You now want to remove the cap and tip for the MIG torch. Power on the welder. You want to press and hold the engine button. You will see it slowly increase in speed and the wire will be fed through the MIG torch. Once you have enough wire pop out of the end of the torch, you will want to reassemble your torch, tighten down your tip, and place your cap back on. Once you do this, you're ready to weld. I have several projects coming up that involve aluminum. So I am testing out the MIG process versus the spool gun. The main reason why I have this welder is to complete the projects. The Yes Welder YWM200 did an excellent job welding with the aluminum. Now the difference between the MIG process and the spool gun, honestly, they're both great. There's a time and place for using the MIG gun when you're in tight corners because the spool gun is a bit bulky and can get a little bit awkward when using it sometimes. So either way, this welder does an amazing job welding with aluminum. I will show you some clips of me using the MIG process and the spool gun. So there you have it, the Yeswater YWM200. The main reason I wanted to use this welder is that it's spool gun compatible and that you can also put the graphite liner in and weld with the big gun. This is the reason why my review here is focused on the aluminum process. This welder excels on both the MIG process and the MIG spool gun. It really came through on my projects. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not already, please like the channel and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.